Hello. Well, I hope this is the very last video I have to make of this for quite some time because uh, all it's just repetitive at this point regarding the whole lawsuit of Friday the Thirteenth. Um, long and short of it is, um, this week they were gonna or they were supposed to have like a. You know, discussions about finalizing all of this. Settlement was supposed to uh, come and happen and all of that. And there were various things brought up, uh, such as Larry Zerner. And I guess has heard stuff about all this, and apparently they were in negotiations. Negotiations were apparently happening where all of this was going to come to an end. Well, for once and for all, and finally, hopefully by in the next couple of years or so, a new Friday the 13th film would come out. And no. No. It's not happening at all. The uh, appeal has been reinstated. This whole thing is really stupid. Many people have said it's stupid. It does nothing. And I... Defended Victor Miller from the very beginning in all of this, because honestly, it's not really his fault. All he's doing is doing what the copyright has told him, and has allowed him to do, if he wants. Uh, and I don't, know, I don't necessarily want to blame uh, Sean Cunningham or Horror Inc. or whatever, but in a way, it is sort of their fault, because what normally happens in this situation, they're supposed to meet face to face. Not over the phone, because that's what the whole thing, oh, negotiations, they're talking on the phone, this and that. Well, that's all well and good, but are they face-to-face? -face? Oh, or no, no word of that ever happening. Just over the phone stuff. So what? It doesn't do anything. It's doing nothing. But anyway, they, all this is happening, and... No face-to-face -face meetup. What should have happened from the very beginning once this happened, first up, they never should have sued Victor Miller. And especially, they never should have made an appeal because their case is really thin to begin with. Especially when they lost. They have less credibility now that they've lost, and they... If they go back into court, it's gonna... They're not even gonna... I doubt they'll have a chance of winning. If they do win, it's gonna be like, well... And then it's gonna be all over again. It's gonna do, it's gonna be a cycle that will just it's never gonna end until they uh, uh, somebody gets the bright idea of oh, we need to stop doing this and actually have an actual face to face meeting. Apparently that's never happened at all in all this. I don't even know with the whole court thing. Uh, no, nothing we can see has indicated Sean Cunningham made it to court. I don't know who's made it to court. I just keep hearing Horror Inc., Horror Inc., Horror Inc. So I can only assume somebody from Horror Inc., that's not Sean Cunningham, has shown up to court. Um, unless I've missed it. Because I don't know, there's so many articles covering this, and they don't even cover the whole thing anymore. And it's just frustrating. It's frustrating that... Uh, the, the Sean Cunningham and company jumped the gun right off the bat hearing the news of this I'm going to sue you because of this and that like, he's doing what the copyright laws allow him to do there uh, Horror Inc don't get your panties in a bunch just because he's doing what he is able to do I'm sorry that the oh, screenwriters get screwed out the most out of everybody in the film industry honestly they get paid, really, uh, it's the cheapest part of a film, honestly. It really is. You could pay somebody, like, $50,000, and then after that, don't want to... Other people get paid probably a lot more, or... Uh, uh, if, uh, particularly if uh, things go over budget or uh, over schedule or something, I don't know. I think they, they have to keep doing sh reshoots and this and that, which cost them more money, so they have to keep paying people more to stay on. Uh, whereas uh, the writer gets a flat fee up front, and there you go. What's complete? Get the money, or 
you get half of it here at the beginning, then you get the let the half once the script's complete. Or maybe you finish the script right off the bat and then somebody buys it for a fee that was agreed upon and there you go. You, unless you made some sort of deal to where you get certain rights and this and that after the fact, particularly if it's successful, then that's the only re way you could ever actually make money as a writer after the fact, but otherwise you get screwed. Victor Miller has made money just a little bit for the sequels and reboot because they put his name in the credits for characters created by Victor Miller. And they have to give him a little bit of money in order for his name to be there. Because uh, he's never written another film after Friday the 13th 1. And he, I don't know, I, I don't know, he... He doesn't seem to be exactly wanting to ever write another one again. However, I've also seen it everywhere. He's sort of opened up to it, but I think he'd want to do something different. Um, and now, uh, this is just, again, this is just stupid and repetitive stuff. I'm basically repeating myself over and over, and I don't want to do that again. Hence why, until we find out it's completely done the end, a new movie will come out within the year or two after the fact I don't want to ever talk about this again because all we find out is the same stuff, nothing moves forward, the most was oh, conversations on the phone are happening well, how about a face to face conversation is that impossible to have seriously, uh, or if you can't how about Skype, I don't know, are you Skyping or are you just having phone calls or what? I'm sorry to be sounding like this, but this is frustrating. It's annoying to keep talking about the same stuff over and over again. And there was some stuff last week or so uh, that that, that kind of gave this of hope. But I'm not gonna. I wasn't gonna do a video on it because, like, because just as I make a video, something else is gonna happen, and this happened. And I'm like, oh, I'm glad I didn't make a video then. Because then it would have been really uh, outdated real quick. So until we find definitively that lawsuit is over and will never be uh, uh, an appeal will not be done, it won't be reappealed or this or that or who knows what. I'm not making another video about it. Then again, I don't really make a, a whole lot of views, uh, honestly. But that's whatever. Uh, I make these for fun, but when I'm repeating myself constantly over and over, it's not fun anymore. It's annoying. I keep getting notifications from channels regarding doing horror stuff and news, and they keep talking about the same stuff, and I just ignore it. I'm like, I'm not watching your video. You have nothing new to say that we already don't know. I've read articles. I've seen videos. I've seen the same stuff over and over again. Nothing new has really been to, uh, talked about. It's just the same old stuff going in circles, and it's annoying. So until this is done, 100% done, everybody is happy, Sean Cunningham's happy, Victor Miller is happy, and the fans will be happy that within a few years a new movie will come out, I'm not going to make another video. And you can say, whoa, you're acting real, uh, yeah, I don't know, you're acting whatever, weird, whatever, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You can use whatever words, how I'm acting, but it's just so annoying, and it's so stupid and dumb at this point. This is, all that had needed to happen was a face-to-face -face conversation, which I don't believe has ever taken place once during this whole thing. And that's sad. You can't have a face-to-face -face conversation more. No, 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 don't do that. It's frightening. Mm, scary. Scarier than Jason Voorhees um, disemboweling somebody and cutting their head off and then using it as a basketball hoop and then slam dunking and having your brain matter f fly out all over the floor. It's more frightening than that, apparently, nowadays. Ugh. Can't see Victor Miller face-to-face. -face. Scary. Uh kind of just turn into a tangent, honestly, or a rant. I didn't, I didn't, and, bleh, I can't even talk. 
I did not intend it to be this way, but it's just like, you know what? I'm just sick of it at this point. I'm done. Until we know for a 100% fact this is done for good and will never be brought up again, I don't want to hear another thing about it. I don't even want to hear about the game anymore. The game? Shut up. You have the game. It will never be updated. The end. Get over it. Quit crying about the same stuff over and over. And I know that's going to ang anger people, but uh, stop it. You're talking about the same stuff over and over, and it's just annoying. That's why I don't talk about Star Wars stuff anymore. It's annoying. Same stuff over and over. Repeating over and over. Same with this. Over and over. Non-stop. And I'm tired of it. And if that annoys you and you're watching this, I'm sorry, but... Excuse me for being somebody who was a fan of Friday the 13th, but is also tired of hearing the same stuff being said just a bit differently each time. If you don't like that, well... I don't know what to say. There's nothing I can say that'll make you happy, then. I'm sorry. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm just frustrated with this whole thing. And I'm gonna stop now because I'll just be talking in circles. Which is one thing I'm tired of doing now with all of this. So until next time, uh, everybody. I hope you all have a good day, a good weekend, and a good week. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.